I don't like watching TV that much. I would just spend like one or two hours a week, cause I think it's just a waste of time in just sitting and staring at one box. Ah,、uh, at home in India, I watch TV a lot. I just I sit all the time in front of the TV and I keep watching it. Yeah, I like all these Indian serials and stuff. So I watch TV a lot. <laughs> Well, when I am when I'm in my room, I always keep my TV on. Although I don't really watch it all the time,、uh, it's just that you know it's it's good to have some noise in your room. TV? How often do I watch TV? I don't. I don't even own a TV.、Um, I think TV is a pretty much a waste of time.、Um, it's an addiction that people can't. Can't quit,、um, so I don't watch TV. I don't even own a TV. But the ironic thing is that one of my jobs is making television documentaries.、Uh, how much TV do I watch? I do watch a lot of TV. I like to watch it for the news to see what's happening around the world and in my own town. I also like to watch DVDs on our TV as it's a large TV. So is very good to watch DVDs,、um, and I also like some of my favourite crime scene investigation programs. They are very good to watch as well.、Um, when I'm back in Oman, I watch TV a lot more than currently.、Um, I watch a lot of、um, Arabic soap operas and、um, a lot of sitcoms as well. And that's what keeps me locked onto the TV all the time. My favorite season is fall. I love the fall because、um, it's perfect, perfect time of year. It's not too hot. It's not too cold.、Uh, there's lots of color in the in the in the earth, in the sky, in the leaves, in the trees. Um, it's a nice time. It's a nice, quiet.、Um, uh, it's a peaceful time of year. I like the fall the best.、Mm, I think I would have to say summer because I really like summers. You know, you could just go out, wear whatever you want to. You know, in winters you have to be all dressed up, sweaters and stuff, and you can eat all cold stuff. I love to eat ice creams and stuff, so I like summers. <laughs> I like winter. Because well, I love to play snow sports, including skis, snowboarding. Well, I in winter I always go to a ski resort for a week or two.、Uh, my favorite season has to be spring, because it's when all the flowers come out, all the birds start chirping, the weather. Starts to warm up, but isn't too hot like it gets,、uh, and that would be my favourite time of year is springtime. My favourite season is summer.、Um, I think summer is a lively season, and I'm a lively person. And in winter, I tend to be cold and quiet, and you know, all closed up. So I think summer is what I like the most. Mm, my favorite season, huh?、Um, it would be spring.、Um, it is when、uh, it's not very cold and it's not very hot, and then the flowers are blooming, and then you can just be fresh. And、um, well, usually people say that you gain weight in winter and you lost weight in spring, and then so that's why I prefer spring more. Um, in school, when I was younger, I had a bunch of subjects, but my favorite subjects were maybe language subjects and math. I like numbers and I like learning languages. The subject that I was not very good in was history and geography, basically just because I didn't like them very much. 
My favorite school subject was always English. I love to read and write. So I used to really like、uh, getting to do essay assignments because I could write on for hours. I, you know, my friends would even tease me that I would put my head down and there I went to write and write and write. I can write all the time and I love reading new books. When I finish one, I already have the next one all set. The one thing that I didn't like about the English、uh, class was that we had to do book reports. I really didn't like book reports because most of the time I ended up reading a book that I was assigned and didn't really like. Therefore, it wasn't an enjoyable assignment. Okay, my favorite subjects in school. Well, when I was in high school, I loved physics and math and chemistry. But then I changed my mind quite drastically and I became to love、uh, topics such as、um, humanities, more like uh, uh, psychology, philosophy, and subjects like those. The subjects that I hated the most、um, were probably French language subjects, English language subjects, anything that dealt with language, I did not like at all. Uh, my favorite subject. My favorite subject is geography. And I remember one year I had a geography teacher named Mr. Hall. And he was a great big tall man with a long gray beard and a great big belly. And he looked like Santa Claus. And it was lots of fun always learning、uh, about the world and the cities and the countries from Mr. Hall. It was, so geography is my favorite subject. My favorite subject would be biology, you know, because I have a lot of interest in the human body and I like to study yeah, about it. It's, it's really interesting. And my grades were always high in biology.、So. <laughs> uh, the subjects I was good at at school w a s the、uh, physical education, which I loved because we played a lot of sports all the time. I was also good at computers.、Um, I could pick up the programs very easily. The one subject that I was not good at was English, which is funnily enough, I am an English speaker. <laughs> My one regret. I can't really answer that because I don't really have any regrets. All my life, I have basically had a few dreams, and my dreams I have basically fulfilled.、Uh, my first dream was going to the United States on exchange, and I did that. And then my second big dream was going to Japan on exchange, which I also did. And I'm very happy about、uh, the fact that I am able to fulfill my dreams because not. All people can do what I've been able to do.、Uh, regrets.、Mm, I don't regret very much, but I have a couple of regrets. One is that I played too much sports when I was young and I didn't pick up any music. I would have liked to play a musical instrument. And my other regret is that、um, I'm unilingual, I only speak one language. And... I would have liked to learn another language when I was young. My biggest regret is、uh, not accepting a scholarship offer that I was given to、um, a few years ago.、Um, instead, I took another offer, and、um, I do regret it, even though I'm, I'm happy where I'm at right now. But I wish I had taken that offer before. Okay, my biggest regret. My biggest regret would have to be four years ago I was living in Spain and I was having such a great time. And then for some reason I had to go back to Canada and still to this day I'm having a hard time with that decision. I wish I had stayed in Spain because my life was so great. I was going to the beach every day and it was such a sunny country and the people were very nice. Uh, about seven or eight, eight years ago, I was staying in Canada.、Uh, but I had to come back then because my father had some problem in his company.、Uh, but he told us that we could stay for a, a year or two longer. But, so I hope I, that I could have stayed 
a little longer. One of my regrets is that I have not travelled when I was younger. I really wish that I could have travelled overseas during high school, taken up some exchange programs like I am now through university, um, even travelled with my family overseas. But then it does have its down problems that I have been able to travel my own country throughout the years. So that's my regret. My favorite movie, uh, I just I just got a favorite movie last year. It's called Amar, Akbar and Anthony. It's an Indian Bollywood movie. And um, it's about three brothers who get separated after they are born. And they're, they're Hindu, but they get separated. And then one gets raised as a Muslim, one gets raised as a Christian, and one gets raised as a... Um, Buddhist and it's a hilarious Bollywood comedy about three brothers who get separated at birth and then uh, they reunite later on in their life in a very comical way my favorite movie well my favorite movie would have to be The Matrix it would sound a bit cliche but I really thought it was uh, uh, such an, an advancement in technology when they came out with the first one. I was, however, a bit disappointed with the two last ones. I thought the first one was incredible, so I was impressed by that one. So I would put it on top of my list of favorite movies. I love watching movie when I have free time. I love watching something mysterious, imaginary, and something like fiction. So my favorite movie would be The Lord of the Rings. My my favorite movie was The Descent. I went and watched it last year with my friends. Um, it was a very, very scary movie about women going into a cave and seeing mm, oh, weird creatures <laughs> down in the cave. So that was very, very scary. Uh, the three of us were extremely scared. We watched it during the day, though, so we come out during the daytime. I couldn't watch it at night. It was too scary. What is my favorite movie? My favorite movie, I would have to say, that is Braveheart. And why? It's a very inspiring story. It's also romantic. It has action. But definitely, it has a lot of inspiration. And the history is also very interesting. So I would have to say Braveheart is my favorite movie. My favorite movie is an Indian movie called Kuch Kuch Hota Hai. I watched it when I was in high school. It's really nice, romantic, and a very entertaining movie. I think I watched it about six times. I still like the movie now. What kind of music do I listen to? I listen to all kinds of music. Um, every genre of music I have. And uh, the type of music I listen to depends on the type of mood I'm in. So if I, it's, it's nighttime and I want to relax, I learn, listen to classical. Um, if I'm doing work and I want to listen to something mellow, or if I'm exercising, I listen to something um, more upbeat. So um, I love all kinds of music and it just depends on my mood. I like listening to Indian music, in fact, uh, all kinds of Indian music. And I like to listen to English music as well, but I don't prefer to listen to rap. My favorite music would have to be jazz. I love jazz um, from the bottom of my heart. I think it's music that soothes me. It it really brings out so many great emotions in me. Uh, it's also a way for me to relax and just enjoy my time. And um, I just really love it. It makes me feel good. 
I'm a music lover, so when people ask me what my favorite type of music is, I really never have a straight answer. Um, I love to listen to all types of music, and I love listening to Spanish music, English music. Um, I have favorite singers, um, not necessarily a favorite genre. Uh, I really listen to whatever I'm in the mood for. If I'm going out, I love uh, fast music so that I can dance. If I want to just relax, I'll listen to maybe a little bit of jazz, blues, or just lounging music. Um, what kind of music do I like? The music that I like best is the uh, the bands that play live in the pubs. Um, generally, they are really good to go and watch. Um, we have a lot of bands come through my town where I live. Generally, every Saturday night we go to a band and watch it. It's better than listening to it on the radio. What kind of music do I like? Mm, my tastes are so diverse, I can't really point out what kind of music I like, but I'm more inclined to R&B and, you know, nature music, like listening to whales, listening to each other. And I also like Bollywood music and and reggae. Some styles of reggae are really enjoyable. Um, I have a, uh, by modern standards, I have a big family, mm, seven people, my parents, my mom and dad, I have a sister, an older brother, two younger brothers and myself, and the neat thing about my family now is my sister lives in America, one brother lives in Australia, one brother lives in England, one brother lives in Canada, and I live in Japan, so... Uh, we are spread out all over the world. In my family, there are five people. My older brother, my younger brother, and myself, and of course my parents. Um, we also have a dog, but he's, a f he's unfortunately very sick, so we might not have a dog for very much longer. My family lives uh, about an hour away from me in Norway. I live in Oslo, which is the capital and they live in a very small city south of it. Uh, how many people are in my family? There are four people in my family, my mother, my father, my younger brother and myself. Uh, I actually don't live with my family anymore. I live in a country town three hours away, so I don't get to see my family very much. At the moment, we also have two dogs as well, which is nice. There are five people in my family, uh, my father, my mother, my younger brother, and my younger sister. And fortunately, they're all away from me now, and I miss them so much. How big is my family? Um, I'm the youngest in a family of five children. My sister, who's right ahead of me, has a baby, so I, I could say that we're six kids in the family. Uh, Everyone lives in Kenya. I'm the only one who lives abroad. And um, we love each other. We used to hate each other up till seven years ago. But now we are in love with each other. Um, how big is my family? Um, like, we have four people in my family. And um, we are pretty much a nuclear family. Um, of course, there um, are my mom, my dad, um, my, myself, and my little brother. He's called Kevin. And we usually we used to have a dog, and we named him Lulu. Uh, my wife and I like to play cards, uh, backgammon, other games like that. I try and read, and I try and watch the movies, but often I just look out the window. When I'm on a flight, I like to sleep. But unfortunately, I can't always sleep. Uh, failing that, watching the movies is good. Uh, listening to my iPod or reading a book, something like that. In terms of not, <laughs> what I don't like to do, uh, I don't like to drink on flights, seeing, seeing as I had a pretty bad experience drinking beer and then passing out on an aeroplane before. Well, usually I'm too excited 
when I'm on a flight to concentrate on the movie or to concentrate on a book. So usually I uh, try to convince my husband to play cards with me or uh, one of the many travel games I've brought. And also I eat and drink everything that they will bring me. Any complimentary <laughs> food or drink items, bring them to me. I usually sleep. Like when the plane takes off, I get some sleep. When I wake up, maybe any two hours later, I start watching DVDs, movies. Uh, I also bring my iPod with me all the time, so I listen to podcasts and music. I watch videos. Uh, I talk to the passenger uh, next to me. Uh, I walk and I drink wine. Um, or uh, I just simply sleep. Long flight, sleeping. Uh, watch a movie, one movie, no matter how good the rest are. Eat the dinner, have a drink, and just sleep for the rest of the flight. Am I shy? I. Uh, not sure. Sometimes I am shy. Sometimes I am not shy. So I think it depends on the situation. If it's the people that I know, if it's the people that I don't know. So am I shy? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Am I shy? Absolutely not. I think um, I'm not a shy person, uh, but there's a difference between um, things like public speaking um, and shyness, but no, I'm not shy. Am I shy? That's an interesting question. Um, no, I, I'm not going to say no. I'm not going to say yes. I think I might be in between. Um, I enjoy talking to people very much, but also at the same time, I could consider myself to be a reserved person. Um, I like to talk about other people's things, not so much about my things. Uh, I don't think I don't think I am a shy person. I I'm open. I like interacting with people, and I like making friends. So I don't think so. I'm a shy person. No, I'm not a shy person. I like meeting new people. I like speaking to people. I like you know making friends and socializing. So I can do that. Am I shy? Uh, no, I don't think I'm shy, or I think maybe it depends on uh, the occasion, where I'm at, who I'm with. Uh, for the most part, I think I'm really outgoing. I love meeting new people, and I love talking um, to someone I just met because, if anything, it gives you more to talk about. You can ask more questions because you don't know much about the person. Um, there are certain times when maybe I'm just not in the mood to talk to someone, so I tend to be a little quiet, but I don't think that that really makes me a shy person. So for the most part, I don't think I'm shy. Oh, right now the adventure I'm planning is an extensive trip in Southeast Asia. I've always dreamed of going to Angkor Wat, so I want to see that place before it's been overrun with too many tourists. Well, I always said that I wanted to try parachute jumping, and I had the chance when I was in high school to do that, but my dad stopped me going in the end uh, because he said, well, I'm... Uh, I'm quite a quite a big guy, quite heavy, and so he was like, "Well, if you want to do it, then you really should lose a bit of weight because you know you're going to fall and you're going to shatter your legs." So <laughs> he was very supportive of my dream. So in the future, I think uh, I'd like to try that, but maybe I should lose some weight. I want to go to Antarctica and maybe go on a dog sleigh. I don't like the cold weather, but. I want to experience that sleigh and I actually want to go on the dog sleigh for my honeymoon and experience that article with my husband. Uh, I like to do skydiving, yeah. Skydiving. Um, sky because I have uh, acrophobia, 
this would be the biggest adventure I can take. Uh, I'm just falling from the airplane uh, for a few minutes, you know, no it's silence there. It's it would be uh, strengthening me from inside doing this adventure. Hmm. Well, I'd really like to go cycling somewhere like Nepal or something like that, where there's lots of rugged mountains and beautiful scenery. I don't think I'm in shape enough to do it just now, but maybe sometime in the future when I have more time to work out and stuff. A big adventure I'd like to do is another long-distance cycling trip. Previously, I cycled around Japan, a few areas in Japan, uh, a cycle trip across Europe, I think I'd like to do a huge trip from somewhere in Europe to somewhere in Asia, maybe like England across to Beijing or something like that.